All right, we just finished uh, 65 miles, four and a half days. There was rain, there was sun, there was slips, trips, falls, there was laughs. There's some incredible views. It's kind of fitting that there's a thunderstorm because we even had one of those. We sure appreciate it if you'd uh, join along, like, subscribe, join in, comment, do all that fun stuff on YouTube. If you want to learn a little bit about the Northville Placid Trail, at least the last 65 miles of it, stay tuned. We're going to put this up in uh, probably four or five parts or so. Join along. It was one hell of a journey. Alright, good morning America, 10 minutes after 5, it's uh, about 50 degrees, last day on the trail, 12 miles left, gotta get up, get going, get to work, get the job done, boy you wait, what hurts, give it a little bit of time, Great night's sleep last night, my goodness. I'm telling you right now, buy a hammock. Everybody buy a hammock, get comfortable in a hammock. But no, just get out on the trail and enjoy your time. There's a member on hammock forums, and I think of his signature line underneath his name quite often. His name's out and back, and his signature line says something along the lines of, May your miles in the backwoods be greater than your post count. Out and back, I think that thing is genius. I really do. I love it. I love it. So, get outside, enjoy it, have fun with it. It's going to hurt. It's not going to be easy. But they can never take away the experience. What a beautiful morning. Luckiest man in the world I am. Not too much else to say. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the spot location device. So I'm turning it on, and you see it goes all crazy on me. And then immediately, we'll start searching for a GPS signal. So this little footprint button, I'm going to push that until it starts to turn green. That's the tracking device. That's what I forgot to turn on right out of the gate on this trip. And then this... Both the OK and this button are two different messages. OK is a message I send at the end of the day saying, made it to camp, life is good, having fun. And then this one is a good morning. Actually, it says, good morning, America. Getting ready to get back out in the trail. Had a good night. So I'm going to go ahead and send this message. Let everybody know that that's starting to happen. Eventually... It'll turn up here. You can see it's turning red on the GPS because it's still searching for one. Pretty simple device. Makes families feel a little bit more comfortable knowing that everything's okay. It's a way to communicate. So that's that in a nutshell. The Spot Generation 3 tracking device. All right. Day number five on the trail, 12 miles to go. Let's go. I tell you, you, just when you think that the enthusiasm and the motivation is not going to come running out of this man, he can't help himself. Watch. Let's get her done. Let's go and let's get her done. I tell you, it, it doesn't end, folks. It doesn't end with this man. Watch. Please, let's go. Now he's begging for mercy. <laughs> let's get her. Uh, 12 miles left and 122 will be in the books.
That's beat feet. 602, 12.2. Giddy up and go, you, you. Don't want to leave that. But I want to get there. You've seen it all. You've seen it all. Watch a man who rode you Switch from sail to steam And in your valley You hold the treasures A few I've ever seen Most of them dreams Most of them dreams Yes, I am a pirate Two hundred years too late all right, a little course correction. That bridge we just took you across. If you're on the Northfield Placid Trail, don't go on that bridge. Ignore the bridge. The bridge is for a different trail. Looks like fun to cross. It was fun to cross. Never Wasted some time last. walking there than realizing we shouldn't have. Never been to last. I have been drunk now for over two weeks. I passed out and I rallied and I sprung. There is a boardwalk weeks, there. But I gotta stop wishing. Gotta go fishing. Down the right bottom again. With just a few friends. With just a few friends. The burl on that tree. It's huge. That's got to be about four feet or so across. Another three feet deep. It's huge. We've been on the trail about an hour this morning. This section is tough. This last hour is uh, following a riverbed. It's down on the side of a big hill. Muddy. The trail's real narrow, lots of rocks, and it was a tough section. Lots of little ups and downs. Woo! Getting closer to breakfast time. Moose Pond Lean 2 for breakfast. Bacon, eggs, hash browns, sausage, homemade toast, and fresh squeezed orange juice. It's a little surprise for Ed. Don't tell him, he doesn't know about it yet. I don't know if you can tell how clear this water is. That's where we came up from. About 8.30 or so, a little after 8.30. We're at Moose Pond Lean To for breakfast. Coffee, oatmeal, granola, pop tarts. No bacon, no eggs. Ed's gonna have a handful of dried blueberries. We have a, what do we have left, Ed? Eight miles? Eight miles left. My understanding is, is that the one of the reasons of the formation of the Adirondack Park, which is about six million acres, is the extreme amount of lumbering and harvesting of wood and stuff that was happening. It was actually starting to tannish the water as it flowed down through Albany and down towards New York City. And I don't know if it's folklore or not, but supposedly they were um, worried that it might actually harm the water supply to New York City way back when. Most of the things that you see in the old artifacts, real, real, real old stuff. <clears throat> it 
in Blue Mountain Lake, there's a museum. It's all about the Adirondacks. You probably had museum pieces. That stuff that you found last night down in the riverbed definitely is. That old winch thing? Mm. Man, she can cook a good meal. <laughs> <laughs> that old winch really cooked good. <laughs> I ain't a little WD-40. You bring that thing right back to life. <laughs> I don't think it was in that bad shape. <laughs> I don't know why you left it. It weighed 50 pounds. Oh, other than the 50 pounds. That was our pack weights two years ago. <laughs> We got eight miles left. It's 9.23. And it's 61 degrees out. It's not too bad. It's not too humid at all. It's a nice day. Black flies. I'd say today's been the worst day for black flies so far this entire trip. So I know there's a lot of people that are wondering why to go hiking around Memorial Day because it's the height of black fly season. And Honestly, the last thing you're going to worry about on this trail is the black flies. There's too much else to think about and pay attention to. So. miles to see this. That's how far we walk. Worth every step. Who wants to go swimming? Woo! One mile or so from Moose Pond Lean To. Did anybody lose their Snuggie blanket? It's a nice Snuggie blanket. It's not mine, but it's a nice one. If you lost your snuggy blanket, it's right here. Come get it. That's the trail. Been on the trail for about 1.6 miles since breakfast. Wanika Falls is a quarter of a mile up that way. Long Lake is 30 miles back up the trail. Averyville Road, six and a half miles left on the trip. Hey, brother, brother. Oh my god, Ed, there's a killer frog on the trail. Help! Help! This is the section of the trail between Monica Falls and the Chubb River. Kind of up on top of a little ridge here. Just following it along. It's very pretty. It's a trailside view right between Wanika Falls right before you get to the Chubb River. If you're starting at Averyville Road, you're just a little over six miles in. Which is about halfway if you're staying at Duck Hole. Be a nice place to sit on the very log I'm sitting on, have some lunch. <laughs>
The sun is out. It's the Chubb River. Come find the place. It's beautiful. You see the woodpecker hole right there? Huge pileated woodpecker. It seems like we're going down an old logging road now. We think that we're right at around the eight mile mark, which gives us about four miles left on the trail. It's about 1240, we're gonna stop at one, get some food. It's warmed up to about 73 degrees. A gorgeous day, probably this is probably the nicest complete day we've had on the trail since we started. And this is our 12th full day if we were to add all the years up on the trail. This tree looks like a horse's head or maybe a unicorn with the long thing sticking up out of it. Huh. <laughs> we're about three miles or so from the trail end. And there it's another moose track. You can make it out right there. I do. This is the site of a very tragic bird incident. We don't know what kind of bird it was, and we don't know the incident, but this was the site of a very tragic bird incident. Hey Adam, would you like us to scoop up this bird feathers and maybe we can make an underquilt out of them? All right, it's two o'clock. We think we got about one hour left on the trail. Uh, I'd say about one, one, one hour. That's it. Roughly one hour, so. It's now 79 degrees, 202. This is the warmest day we've ever had on the trail. By about 10 degrees, probably. Easy, yeah. It's, it's hot, it's not warm, it's hot, but. One hour left, keep on moving. Thanks for coming along with us. Neat old root ball right there. It's very nice and very new. So the trail continues up that way, but this is the view off to your left. It's like an old river bottom or something almost, it looks like, doesn't it? And this is back up the way that we came.
Somewhere out in Texas Where the lonesome wind blows There's an old coyote hounding at the moon Oh, so the story goes the One thing I know for certain That's where I'm gonna go There's a girl down there with long blonde hair And a heart of pure snow miles. Four and a half days She was the queen of the state fair scene the Northville Placid Trip. Over the course of three Memorial Day weekends, 122 miles. From Northville, New York to Lake Placid, New York. Carol built 1922 to 1924. It's the 90th anniversary. This is a hell of an accomplishment. Yep. Alright guys, thanks for coming along. Anything from this point on is going to be bonus footage. And it's beer 30. <laughs> they say that down in Texas, everything grows. Bigger and better than everywhere else, or so the story goes. But these white lines on the highway, they keep going by so slow. Well, if I ever get there, 303, 75 degrees, we're at the top. For anybody that's been watching along, it's going to be the last check-in. On a Saturday night, making love in the desert by the full moonlight. Just want her to tell me if she knows. That's how the story goes. <laughs> Going out dancing on a Saturday night Making love in the desert by the full moonlight Just want her to tell me if she knows She's got me thinking about a chew Got a garage and a diamond ring Two kids when hiking the trail, on the backyard swing Going Spend a little bit of time either before or after or during and Check out the Adirondack the Museum by the full moonlight. Just want her to tell me if she knows that's how this story goes. That's how this story goes. So here's the bigger property. That's how this story goes. Again, we'd recommend after the hike or before the hike or even taking a break in the middle wouldn't be a bad idea, but come check this place out. You'll learn a lot about the uh, history and the heritage of the Adirondacks.